Oh, can I put a little disclaimer on this? Sure. I wrote this the weekend before Thanksgiving because I was supposed to speak on Tuesday. So this sounds kind of weird. <laughs> can I go? All right. What would you say if you had to pay around 300 to $400 a month for a basic health care plan? Just a little bit high, right? Just a tad. Well, that's what <clears throat> employees from uh, Altadena pay for monthly. Shit, I kind of want to I spent three days hand billing the weekend before Thanksgiving uh, uh, participating in a boycott against Altadena to lower the health care price for the employees. All right, today I'll be explaining the cost and harm it does to employees paying for it. I will be comparing it to two other jobs that I know of personally, uh, how much they charge. I'll also be explaining what we can do to help the employees get out to Dina to the negotiating table to agree on a more affordable price. Uh, lastly, I'll be talking about my, a little bit about my experience handling the those was a once in a lifetime thing for me. Uh, according to foodanddrugcouncil.org, which is, uh, they have a couple links that show you to other websites. They said that they charge, Altadena charges 300 to $400 monthly for health care uh, basic plan, which is kind of ridiculous. And according to me, uh, working at Firestone, <laughs> I, there, I was offered, if I signed up for it, but I'm under my dad's insurance, I was offered uh, $25 a month for health insurance for myself, and that was a basic plan. And according to my father, who works for the Teamsters Union, Local 630, he's a union rep, the health care is afforded to him just for having the job. So it's no cost, which is cool. <coughs> Some of the harms in uh, paying that much money, which is about you know half a month's rent if you have an apartment or something, it's, uh, it lowers your living conditions if you have a family and stuff. Maybe you couldn't really buy the house that you wanted, you have to go for the more affordable little fix, fixer upper. And uh, you can't afford, like, you know, better car insurance, you know, to cover up. Maybe you have kids or something. You can't afford a better car insurance to insure everybody. Uh, you have no spare change to go out. You know, maybe you want to go to Disneyland. You have to save up for about two years just to pay for <laughs> two people. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, Schooling, you know, maybe you have to send your kid to public school, and instead you wanted to send them to a private school, which has had, you know, a good rep for kids, you know, making more money and uh, taking care of you when you get old. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now that you know the high price and the comparisons to the other jobs, and the harms it does to to the people paying for it, uh, I'll be explaining the little minor things that you could do to help out the employees to get out to Dina to uh, lower the prices. The boycott I was participating in asked that you didn't buy any Altadena products uh, or anything that with the Altadena name so that it could put a little dent in their financial income so that they'll be all scared like, oh my God, we're going to go out of business. And then uh, they could uh, surrender and start negotiating with the employees on a better health care plan so they could have a better living. Um, with my experience in the boycotting, it was, uh, like I said, a once-in-a-lifetime thing. It was pretty interesting, the people we were, we were hand-billing to, because I was hand-billing in Hollywood, so in Hollywood there's a bunch of interesting people. <laughs> <coughs> there was, and what was cool about it, you hand-bill, and they tell you, you know, oh, they give it back, you know, because they're all, you know, envir environmental. They're like, I don't want to throw this paper away here, you want to recycle it? And then uh, they told me, <laughs> they told me, uh, they said, oh, some people come, a lot of people came up, we only drink organic. Or some of them were like, go only drink soy milk, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> and I know for sure I have eight, eight, yeah, eight confirmations from people that actually came up to me and said, okay, I won't buy out to Dina. I was kind of happy. Because that was three days and I only got eight people. <laughs> but it was in Hollywood and it was kind of an expensive store. So it was like, not a lot of people. I could tell you, I've seen a couple celebrities. I saw Janice Dickinson. Doesn't look too good with that. <laughs> uh, Party Boy. I saw Party Boy from Jackass. We saw this little guy. He's a, I think he was one of the owls 
in uh, Elf, the movie Will Throw. <laughs> I, had, I handled him, he was kind of <laughs> funny. And then, uh, saw a comedian, no, but no one can remember his name. So I guess he wasn't that famous. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, now that you know how Altadena is treating their employees and know how you can help, hopefully next time you go to the market, you'll stay away from those products to show them who really runs the business and to show them that the employees are more important than they think to them. Thank you. Oh, then I know Mr. Kirkland doesn't like this. <laughs> but if you guys want, I can give you. <laughs> no? No problem. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Well, I'm lactose intolerant. You know. <laughs> no, wait, you want, I want to recycle it. <laughs> oh, and the only reason why I took the job was because I was paying $20 an hour. <laughs> Brianne, what did you think? Um, I thought it was a really interesting topic, and I thought it was a good topic. Um, I thought at the beginning, when you lost your place, um, you kind of brought a little bit of distraction to yourself. You didn't have to draw the attention to yourself. And um, also, I thought that you gave a wide variety of examples, such as you, yourself, your father, and their internet website, but you mostly centered on your personal experience. And that can be a good thing, but it can also, um, with, with less, uh, like official, I think that uh, official um, like resources, I think that it, that kind of lowers your credibility just a little bit. Um, I thought you were really funny and you got the audience laughing, so that was entertaining. And the whole celebrity part, I felt like you veered off topic a little bit, but I still thought it was a good speech. All right, it's uh, five minutes and 37 seconds, and it was three minutes and 30 seconds into the speech before I finally realized that you were talking about the dairy. You know, because there's a city called Altadena, and I thought, I, and, and I'm going, so I think you need to kind of give us a context on what the issue's about. Uh, I, you, I think you need to start off. I wouldn't have objected to your having the uh, flyer there and say, you know, two weekends ago, let me show you. Two weekends ago, I spent uh, the day passing out flyers at, uh, in front of a grocery store in Hollywood. Got to meet a few celebrities, too, talking about uh, Altadena Dairy and the conflict that they're having with their employees over uh, their health care system right now. And today, what I want to do to you is I want to convince you to boycott Altadena Dairies until they, um, you know, accommodate or come to some arrangement with their employees' union. There you go. I mean, that would be a much more straightforward, at least I'd have a context for what the argument is about. As it is, it gets, it's very confusing at the start. Uh, I know finally, like I said, that it was the dairy that you were talking about, not the city that you were discussing. You know, maybe other people wouldn't have thought of that, but I live in the San Gabriel Valley, so I know Altadena, and that's where the dairy is, by the way, I think, also. Um, Let's see. Uh, I think we need to have, for instance, how many employees are affected by this? What did they pay for health care before? How much more are they being asked to pay? Or are they not, were they never offered health care before and now they're demanding it? I don't get that context. Uh, you know, the prices that you're talking about, um, I think we need some comparative data. What do people in, in similar industries pay or make as a contribution toward their health care costs? Uh, you know, I, you know, everybody sees things a little bit differently, and it's hard to do an audience analysis. I, you know, since I have health care benefit, for instance, here, but I have to pay extra because of what I want, and I'm paying substantially more extra every month than anything that you've described, and I'm going, so why is it that this is different? You know, why is it appropriate for me to worry about this group? How come nobody's out passing out flyers for me? You know, taking care of my health care. Uh, I'm, you know, 
I'm, I'm irritated by that. No, not really. I just, uh, I, you have to build this up as a reason that we should care about it in particular. Maybe there's a group of employees that is not being treated uh, well in context to people in the industry or they're being dismissively treated by somebody that they were formerly loyal to that did treat them well. I just don't know the context on it. Um, I think that sometimes your delivery is very, really effective. You, you have a personable way that you're talking to the audience and relating to people, but that's is the thing that gets you off track occasionally, like going off on the celebrity tangent, which is, you know, a little, it's not a big deal if you have it in the introduction and it's a setup there, or it's just a passing kind of thing, but it does seem uh, distracting at times. So I, I think you have to be careful about those sorts of things. All right, I'm going to stop it there.